Breaking news out of North Korea. It's not good. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad will visit Kim Jong-un in North Korea's capital, the regime's state media announced Sunday, in what would be the first face-to-face -face meeting between the two leaders. North Korea's state-run Korean Central News Agency said Assad expressed willingness to visit Pyongyang to meet with Kim on May 30 while receiving the credentials for the North Korean ambassador, Fox News reports. The world welcomes the remarkable events in the Korean peninsula brought about recently by the outstanding political caliber and wise leadership of Hee Kim Jong-un. I am going to visit the DPRK and meet Hee Kim Jong-un, North Korea will achieve the final victory and realize the reunification of Korea without fail. Syrian government fully supports all policies and measures of the DPRK leadership. Assad, the acronym he for His Excellency. Ties between North Korea and Syria have remained friendly for decades, with Assad's father Hafez meeting the founder of the North Korean regime, Kim Il-sung, in the 1970s. North Korea has been selling military-grade weapons for years, as well as providing Syria with advanced Scud missiles and the technology to produce them. The Syrian government and people are reliably defending the independence and security of the country resolutely smashing the acts of aggression of all the hostile forces and meeting their challenges under your correct leadership. Kim Jong-un All of this of course is happening before President Trump meets with the North Korean dictator. The long history between Syria and North Korea and the fact that North Korea has been providing Syria with chemical weapons, should put the White House and Pentagon on alert to rethink the meeting. These are simply two nations that the United States will never be able to trust yet alone broker peace with. RWT Breaking News has been reporting on the Okandi briefings. RWT reports Syria President Assad tells U.S. to get out or prepare for consequences, President Bashar al-Assad raised the possibility of conflict with U.S. forces in Syria if they do not withdraw from the country soon. RWT Breaking Report from Saad Mattis Aboard a military aircraft, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis said Tuesday that the U.S. would confront behavior out of step with international law, in response to a question about U.S. defense policy towards China's increasing deployment of military weapons on territories in the South China Sea. RWT Breaking News reported on Defense Secretary Jim Mattis called out China for militarizing artificial features in the South China Sea. RWT Intel reports Saad Mattis tells the world that China has lied and the U.S. will act. China's militarization of the Spratlys is also in direct contradiction to President Xi's public assurances in the White House Rose Garden that they would not do this. RWT Ilkhan report on China response to the United States State Department and Saad Mattis. China won't allow any external powers to build hostile barriers against China in the region. We have enough strength and a firm resolution to fight back until they abandon such motives. China State News Chris Badger Thomas is a veteran who served our country as an Army combat medic. Combat medic.